Welcome to our electrical engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see a problem on superposition theorem. For electrical and electronics engineering related educational content, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. The link of this website is in the bio of this channel. Also, you will get the website link in the description of this video. There you will find notes simulators, calculators, MCQs and much more. Now here the question is calculate the current flowing through 2 ohm resistor in figure by using superposition theorem. So for here we have to find 2 ohm resistor current by using superposition theorem. So solution first of all we will take this circuit now as we can see this 7 ohm, 3 ohm and 5 ohm are connected in series. So what we will do? We will combine them. So 7 plus 3 is 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15. So this will be of 15 ohm. So let's replace this by 15 ohm register. So it will be 15 ohm. Now we can erase these registers now here as we can see this 5 volt and this 5 volt is connected in series so it will be 10 volt simply so this will be simply 10 volt now we can remove this resistor this voltage source from here now let's join this properly now next step is here we can see this 5 ohm and this 5 ohm are connected in series so it will be simply 10 ohm it will be 10 ohm now again we will join this now here we have to find the current through this 2 ohm resistor so we will keep this 3 ohm as it is otherwise we can join this to this 2 ohm and this 3 ohm will be 5 ohm but we will keep this as it is because we will understand then that we are finding the current for this 2 ohm resistor now let's copy this circuit from here now what we will do we will consider only this 5 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources so step number one is to consider 5 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources all other sources Now here when we turn off this 10 volt voltage source so it will be replaced by short circuit. Now remember that when we turn off a voltage source it will be replaced by short circuit and when we turn off a current source that time it will be replaced by open circuit. Now here we have to find the current through this 2 ohm. So it will be simply let's say this is I prime. This will be I prime. Now we can find the value of I prime by using Ohm's law simply. So I prime is equal to total voltage divided by total resistance. Current is equal to voltage upon resistance. Now here the value of voltage is 5 volt and the value of resistance will be 2 plus 3 plus here we can write 2 plus 3 plus now this 10 ohm and 15 ohm are connected in parallel but they are in series with this 2 ohm and this 3 ohm so it will be 10 into 15 10 into 15 divided by 10 plus 15 now if we solve this in calculator it will be 5 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 
टेन इंटू फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय टेन प्लस फिफ्टीन सो इट इज फाइव बाय एलेवन फाइव बाय एलेवन एम्पियर और वी कैन राइट आई प्राइम इज इक्वल टू हेयर वी कैन राइट लेट्स राइट हेयर सो आई प्राइम इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव एम्पियर एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज अपवर्ड्स सो हेयर वे विल पुट दिस एरो अपवर्ड नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप is to consider this 10 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources so step number 2 consider 10 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources all other sources now here when we turn off this voltage source again it will be replaced by short circuit so this will be a short circuit here and now we have to find this current now here we can see the polarity is like this so the current will flow like this now let's say this is current i1 and this current will flow like this so it will be let's say i double prime now we have to find the value of i double prime so here we will use current division rule so by using by using current division rule i double prime is equal to i double prime is equal to this main current which is i1 multiplied with opposite branch resistance now opposite branch to this is 10 ohm so it will be 10 ohm divided by 10 plus now 10 plus we have to take the combination of these two that is 5 ohm that is 2 plus 3 so it will be 2 plus 3 now here we don't know the value of this i1 so first we will find the value of i1 so again by using this formula ohms law formula voltage divided by resistance now here the value of voltage is 10 volt so it will be 10 volt divided by resistance value will be this 15 ohm is in series with these two are connected in parallel so this will be 2 plus 3 5 ohm and 5 ohm is in parallel parallel with 10 ohm so 5 into 10 divided by 5 plus 10 so therefore this i1 is equal to let's solve this 10 divided by 15 plus 5 into 10 divided by 5 plus 10 so this is equal to 6 by 11 6 by 11 ampere now we will put this value here so it will be i double prime is equal to 6 by 11 6 divided by 11 multiplied with 10 divided by 10 plus 10 divided by 10 plus 2 plus 3 now next step is to calculate this so let's calculate this it will be 6 divided by 11 multiplied with 10 divided by 10 plus 2 plus 3 6 by 11 into 10 by 10 plus 2 plus 3 so it is equal to 0.36 ampere now this is the value for i double prime the direction of i double prime is downwards 
so it will be in downward direction now next step we got the value of i prime and i double prime but here we have to find the current through this 2 ohm resistance so here we can write i 2 ohm is equal to now here we can see the direction of this i double prime is downward and the direction of this i prime is upward so we have to subtract them now we will see which one is bigger now here the i prime value is 0 0.45 and the value of i double prime is 0 0.36 that means i prime is bigger one so i prime minus i double prime we will also put the direction so i prime direction is upward and i double prime value is downward so i double prime is downward like this so i prime value is 0 0.45 ampere it is 0 0.45 ampere minus i double prime value is 0 0.36 ampere so it will be let's solve this in calculator it will be 0 0.45 minus 0 0.36 it is 0 0.09 0 0.09 ampere is the current through this 2 ohm resistance and the direction will be of this bigger current and that is i prime so it will be upward like this so this is how we can find the value of current by using superposition theorem don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and also for electrical and electronics engineering related educational content you can visit this website link and thanks for watching